Welcome back to the Sports Report on WTLW, joined by some members of the Fort Loramie Redskins girls basketball team, of course, joined by head coach Carla Siegel, as well as Kenzie Holscher and Dana Rose. Uh, ladies, thanks for taking the time to be with us tonight. Thanks for having us. We are looking forward to it. Um, coach, I'll, I'll start with you. You know, Fort Loramie has strung together not just a really good season this year, but a couple of seasons. Uh, up until this past Saturday, you guys had had put together 42 wins in a row. Uh, what has contributed to the fact that you guys have been uh, so successful for a extended period of time? Well, I think you're looking at two of the girls right here. Uh, both of them, Kenzie's a four-year varsity player for us, and Dana's a three-year varsity a player for us. So we have a, a good nucleus of girls that work hard. Um, I can't thank the coaches enough, you know, that, you know, we have good practice planning and we challenge our girls and we um, try to keep them in tip top shape and um, challenge them as offensively and defensively. And so it's just, it's been a fun ride. Um, they've done a great job. Um, their leadership has been fantastic this year. So it, um, like you said, it's, it's been about three years here where, where things have been clicking pretty good for our, our program. You were one of a handful of teams in the state of Ohio that actually had your season cut short by uh, the coronavirus outbreak last season. You guys were, well, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about kind of where you were, uh, where you were in the process of getting ready for your next basketball game when you found out that your game was canceled and eventually the season. So on Thursday morning, um, we had our shoot around here before we got on the bus and um, our town, you know, knew, knowing that they wouldn't be there, they had some watch parties planned and they gave us a nice little parade send off and everything was going great. And um, we get to Marysville and we're going to eat lunch uh, in Marysville because uh, we were supposed to play, I believe, at six o'clock that night. And so we decided to eat. And um, as we're at waiting, we, we had ordered our food and we we see all the big screens that well, the coaching staff did. I don't know if the girls did, but we saw that the Big Ten just canceled their tournament. And I mean, that was just like, Oh no, like this isn't, this isn't looking good. I mean, if the big 10 is canceling today um, and it was probably about 10 minutes later that um, I received a phone call saying that it was over. Um, they were all laughing and having a good time. And so we just decided that we were going to let them eat and enjoy their, their moment. And then when we got on the bus, we had to tell them. Hmm. And uh, Kenzie and Dana, when you heard that you weren't going to be playing basketball anymore that season, uh, what, was, what was your reaction? What was the team's reaction? And then we get on the bus and coach is like, walks back. She's like, I have something to tell you guys. And still, like, even in my head, I was like, oh, like, whatever. And even Macy said, she's like, she thought that coach forgot to pay for the meal or something. So we were all laughing about that. <laughs> But she told us she's like the tournament's canceled. And I like remember like my body like going numb. Like I was like, this isn't real. And it was really hard because we played with those girls for so long. And then we didn't know that that was our last game. And then it was just over. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, when coach was coming back and she said she had something to tell us, I actually thought she was just going to say a joke about something because I never would have thought she would have came back and told us that. So I was just kind of laughing and whatnot and then she told us and then it still didn't seem real for five minutes everyone was crying I didn't even cry for another five minutes because I didn't realize it's like until we started driving back home and I, I like I think Kenzie brought it up I mean the biggest probably the hardest thing was we came home and you know the parents were at the school to to, to greet their daughters and um that's how our season ended I mean there was schools were shut down these girls, we couldn't get together. We weren't allowed to be together. And it was just um, anticlimactic, I guess. I mean, you know, you don't, it was just, it was just the weirdest way to just end a season. You know, um, I, I think in, in May, we finally got together and had our sports award banquet. We finally were allowed to get together. The administration allowed us to, to, to honor these girls, which, which we did in the best way that we could for the phenomenal season that they had. And, um, but it was just, like she said, you know, that they, they they got to play with those seniors for like three years and it was just finished, you know, on, on a bus. So it was, it was weird. It was hard. Um, it was very, a, a very tough bus ride home. What has that experience from last season? How, how has that energized you guys? Has it energized you guys more? Has it added a little more umph to everything that you, you put forward in order to, you know, have this season and, and have it have a, a conclusion that you definitely wanted to have. I told the girls, you know, this year we can't hang on to last year. And 
And I'm, I'm not saying that they can't use it for motivation when tournament comes. I, I never said that, but I did not want it to be hanging over our heads this whole entire season. So um, this year they chose the word now. And so all we are concentrating on is now, now, now. Now, when this season concludes and we start our tournament run, um, I'm sure our group will have a conversation about the way things ended last year and how they're going to use that for their motivations. Last Saturday, you had a setback first time in 42 games against Bath. Um, what did you what did you take away from that game? Um, did it did it ease any type of pressure on having to keep a winning streak? If you were feeling that, maybe you weren't even feeling that at all. Um, and did it help you to kind of have that happen now before uh, tournaments and your in your preparation for uh, not just closing out the Shelby County League part of your schedule, but um, getting into uh, tournaments as well? Well, I think, you know, when the season started, when we won our first game, it, we weren't 1-0. Um, we were 27-0, and we won the second game. It was, And that number just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I'm not sure how the girls felt about the streak. I would I touch base with the captains every now and then asking them, are, are you guys okay with this? Do we need to address it as a team? Uh, the captains always said, no, we're fine. We just, we're just playing each game as it is. And that's a testament to them. And we played some really big games, you know, back in December and early January. And we just had that, you know, there was about a four week stretch there where we were playing some really, really good teams. And uh, Lima Bath was phenomenal that day. They were clicking on all cylinders. Um, I, when I watched the film the next day, I was just like, wow, you know, we got beat by a better team that day. There, I mean, there's nothing that we could have done. We didn't play horrible. Um, the ball just didn't bounce our way um, as far as shot selections and loose balls and things like that. Um, I think it's, I, I've always said this, I, I've been coaching for a long time. I've always said that you learn more from a loss sometimes than a win. And so, you know, we, we talked about the things that we did wrong. Uh, we had a short turnaround because we had to play New Knoxville last night. So we only had, you know, one day practice to try to fix a few things and try to get us back on track. But I, I think these girls are resilient. I think they're going to respond um, the rest of the season. And that loss, um, they did not enjoy it. it, it it's a painful a reminder of how things ended last year. And I, I think they're going to use that. I would hope that they're going to use that for motivation and concentrate and focus and um, do things right the rest, the rest of the way. You had a game just a couple of days after that, you played New Knoxville. Um, did some of the feelings of, of losing a game, did that add additional motivation to you to really get back on the winning track, uh, correct whatever mistakes there were against uh, New Knoxville on Tuesday night? I know personally, definitely right after that, I was thinking like next game, like what do we have to do to get better the next game? What do we have to do to change, to make sure this doesn't happen again? And I would definitely say it helped us fuel of fire for the next game. You stopped moving for so long and the lights turned off. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I guess we got to do jumping jacks or something here. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's all right. Hey, uh, play, playing lights out and uh, having the lights go out in your room as well. That's the Fort Loramie uh, girls basketball team. Uh, nice rebound win against New Knoxville uh, on Tuesday. And you guys match up with Houston coming up um, tomorrow. That'd be Saturday. So uh, good luck to you ladies and the rest of the regular season. Very good. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you.